everything your blood type reveals about you. Type O, the universal donor and the universe's favorite overachiever. If you're type O, your blood type is the original blueprint, humanity's default setting before things got complicated. It's the one that carried our ancestors through the hunter-gatherer era, surviving on whatever they could chase, catch, or dig up. You're built for endurance, not delicacy. Your body still thinks you're running barefoot through forests instead of scrolling through a food delivery. You can donate to everyone, A, B, A, B, you name it. But when it comes to receiving blood, you only trust your own kind. It's poetic, really. You'll save anyone, but when you're the one in need, suddenly no one's compatible. Type O blood has no A or B antigens, which makes it universally accepted. The price for that generosity? Being perpetually self-reliant. Your immune system is sturdy, designed for survival. You burn through energy fast and recover quickly, usually, but your stomach is a drama queen. The same acid that digests a steak in record time can also give you ulcers if you miss lunch. You're less likely to develop heart disease, but stress hits you like a truck because your adrenal system's always ready for a saber-toothed tiger that no longer exists. Personality-wise, type O people are the calm in a crisis kind. Logical, assertive, and quietly competitive. You thrive under pressure, probably because your blood evolved for life or death situations. In group projects, you're the one who ends up doing 80% of the work while pretending you're fine with it. You're dependable, ambitious, and occasionally inflexible, the evolutionary price of leadership. Diet-wise, you still carry the digestive blueprint of early humans. Protein fuels you, grains bore you. You do best with meat, fish, and vegetables, the kind of food that kept you alive before agriculture was invented. When you eat like your ancestors, your body thanks you. When you live off processed carbs, it quietly resents you. Type O reveals a person built for survival, precision, and performance. You're the evolutionary original, strong, efficient, and sometimes a little too intense. When humanity needed hunters, it made you. When it needed someone to organize the tribe's calendar, it moved on to Type A. Type A, the calm perfectionist who's internally screaming. Type A blood appeared when humanity decided to stop running after food and start growing it. Your ancestors swapped spears for seeds, and your biology adjusted to a more structured life which might explain your obsession with schedules and orders. Your red cells carry A antigens and your immune system builds walls against anything that looks remotely like a B. It's not paranoia, it's just who you are. Type A people are cautious because evolution rewarded the ones who paid attention to detail, the ones who noticed the difference between edible berries and see you in the afterlife berries. Your cortisol levels, that's the stress hormone, tend to run high. That's not weakness, that's vigilance. Your body is wired to anticipate problems before they happen, which is great for survival but terrible for sleep. You're thoughtful, empathetic, and the kind of person who says no worries while your blood pressure quietly disagrees. Health-wise, type A individuals are more prone to heart conditions and certain cancers, but are tougher against bacterial infections. Your immune system is stubborn, like you. It keeps things orderly, sometimes too orderly, even when chaos would do you good. Your personality reflects your ancestors' agricultural roots. Steady, meticulous, occasionally rigid. You plan before you act, think before you speak, and feel guilty about both afterward. You're a perfectionist because in your DNA, missing a harvest once meant starvation. You'd rather overprepare than fail, which makes you reliable but occasionally exhausted. Diet-wise, your body prefers plant-based foods, vegetables, fruits, and grains. You thrive on balance, not brawls. Your system handles lighter proteins better than heavy meats. Think tofu, not T-bone. Your evolution's gardener, designed for calm sustainability, not chapter. Type A reveals a mind built for order and empathy. Your civilization's manager, dependable, conscientious, and slightly allergic to unpredictability. You're not cold, just preemptively organized against disaster. Type B, the creative rebel who refuses to follow anyone's rules. Type B came onto the scene when humans started roaming, long after farming began. Your ancestors were the nomads who didn't stay in one place long enough to form a homeowner's association. You adapted to unpredictability, new environments, and the occasional blizzard. That survival instinct left you flexible, clever, and completely incapable of sitting still. You've got B antigens and NIA antibodies, which means your blood plays favorites. You can donate to other Bs and ABs, but don't expect compatibility with everyone. That exclusivity kind of fits your personality. Selective, self-assured, and not particularly interested in consensus. 
Your immune system reflects that wandering past, adaptable, resilient, and a little weird. You fend off certain infections better than others and you recover fast. But your energy comes in waves, intense productivity followed by existential napping. If burnout were an Olympic sport, you'd meddle in it and then write a poem about it. Type B people are the wild cards of the genetic pool. You're creative, curious, and allergic to monotony. You think best when everyone else thinks you're not paying attention. You value freedom more than consistency, which makes you inspiring and occasionally impossible to manage. Health-wise, type B individuals tend to resist autoimmune diseases and viruses well. You're less likely to get seriously ill, but you also test your luck by ignoring medical advice. Some studies show higher risk for metabolic issues, not because of biology, but because you eat like you're still traveling through deserts with a backpack. Diet-wise, you're the most flexible. You handle dairy, greens, and lean meats well, which suits your nomadic DNA. Just avoid overly processed foods and too much chicken. Your immune system sometimes sees it as an intruder. Variety is your natural rhythm. Type B reveals a personality wired for adaptability. You're imaginative, stubborn, and restless. Evolution designed you to survive on motion, curiosity, and questionable decision-making. You're the explorer that history needed, and the coworker everyone finds fascinating but exhausting. Type AB, the rare unicorn of the blood world. Type AB is the genetic remix, the newest and rarest of all. You're the evolutionary equivalent of a software update that combined the best and strangest features of type A and B. Your blood appeared only a few thousand years ago when once isolated populations finally began mixing. Congratulations, your globalization in human form. AB individuals have both A and B antigens, which means your immune system is as open-minded as it gets. You can receive blood from anyone, but only donate to your own kind. It's fitting, you're generous when it suits you, exclusive when it doesn't. Health-wise, you're a mixed bag. Your immune system is sophisticated but indecisive. You tend to handle illness moderately well, but sometimes respond to stress unpredictably. You've got type A's sensitivity and type B's resilience, which means your body's either thriving or questioning its life choices. No middle ground. Personality-wise, you're complex, diplomatic, and perpetually mysterious. You can see both sides of every argument, which makes you great at resolving conflict and terrible at picking a restaurant. You're calm under pressure, thoughtful in chaos, and occasionally detached, like you're watching life from the outside. You're the kind of person who remembers birthdays but forgets why you walked into a room. Your diet should reflect your dual nature. Moderation works best, not too heavy, not too light. You benefit from seafood, greens, and grains, but excess anything throws you off balance. You're the biological equivalent of a hybrid car, efficient, sophisticated, and mildly confused about which fuel it's running on. Type AB reveals a person built for empathy and logic, creativity, and control. You're rare for a reason, you represent humanity's ability to merge, evolve, and adapt. You're the bridge between order and chaos, a modern puzzle piece shaped by centuries of mixing. Evolution took two opposite bloodlines, mashed them together, and said, good luck. The RH factor, the secret plus or minus that sparks theories. The RH factor is the silent tag at the end of your blood type, the plus or minus that no one notices until it suddenly matters. It's a simple protein that either exists on your red blood cells or doesn't. If you have it, you're RH positive. If not, you're RH negative. And apparently that's enough to make people on the internet call you alien. Science says otherwise. RH negative just means you carry a slightly different genetic mutation, a quirk that probably appeared tens of thousands of years ago. Nothing extraterrestrial, just evolution doing its thing. About 85% of people are RH positive, which means the rest of you are rare, mysterious, and constantly asked to donate. RH status doesn't change your personality, but it influences compatibility, especially in pregnancy. An RH negative mother carrying an RH positive baby can trigger an immune response, a biological misunderstanding that medicine now fixes easily. Still, it's one of the few times your blood's attitude problem could become literal. The RH factor represents how evolution never stops tweaking the formula. Even now, your blood carries genetic whispers of adaptation, survival strategies etched in protein. Every drop tells a story older than language. In closing, your blood type is a record of every human decision, mutation, and accident that came before you. You're not defined by your blood type, but you are undeniably shaped by it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which blood type you belong to.